Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the very first Beauty Bite review for you and I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. Vivid Matte Liquid, that's all the name. It's not the Vivid Matte Liquid Gloss, Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick, Vivid Matte Liquid by Color Sensational. So the first time I saw this at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got so excited because I thought Maybelline had released a matte liquid lipstick, but it's not. If you've tried the L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss, it's basically the exact same thing. So it is a gloss with a matte or more like a suede finish. So it's thick, it's very moisturizing, feels very comfortable on the lips compared to a matte liquid lipstick but it doesn't dry you down and it's not long lasting. Color wise, it is beautiful. It is smooth, opaque, it's not streaky whatsoever, but when you're messing around with a color as bright as this, or maybe something darker because I know they have almost like a black and purple and they have a really bright purple, when you're messing around with those colors, you don't want those moving around your face. And since these don't dry down, you have to be careful when you eat, you gotta be careful when you speak, and also when you drink something because they don't set and they do have a tendency to move around your mouth. Which is what happened to me when I filmed my top 50 memories of 2015, the product gathered around in my mouth and started bleeding downwards. And by the time I finished with those videos, I will insert a picture, I had glossed down, <laughs> pointing going downwards, I looked like a clown. It was not a very flattering look. And the same thing happened with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss. You gotta be careful with it because that one has the exact same formula as this. But with the L'Oreal one, I experienced a little bit more feathering outside my lip. The first time I tried the L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss, I was actually working and I wasn't paying attention to a mirror by the time I was done talking to a customer. I had gloss bleeding all the way down here. While I didn't experience that extreme feathering outside my lip lines with the Vivid Matte Liquid, you do have to be very careful and check on the lipstick very often because if you don't, you're gonna end up with lipstick. If you kind of like touch your face, you're gonna end up with that liquid lip gloss <laughs> around your mouth or like what happened to me with the product gathering on the corners of my mouth. So I personally do not like this. It's a little bit too high maintenance for me. If you're willing to kind of check on it very often, then I would recommend this and also the L'Oreal one. So for me personally, I was not a fan of the Vivid Matte Liquid or the L'Oreal Pro Lip Gloss, Pro Matte, you know, those two. I'm not a fan of them because they're very high maintenance. Yes, they feel comfortable, but you do have to be checking on them very often to make sure they haven't feathered or gathered around in the corners of your lips. So for me, these are a little bit too high maintenance for something that's supposed to be matte. So I personally don't like them, but if you want a more comfortable kind of suede-like finish, then I would recommend these. Just keep an eye on them because they do have a tendency to feather. So these are not kiss-proof or transfer-proof in any way. But I did experience that with this, once you do get rid of that like glossy finish, it does kind of stain your lips, which is nice. The L'Oreal one didn't do that to me, but maybe that's because of the shade that I picked, but this was okay. I'm not crazy about it. I wouldn't go to the store and get like two other shades. This is going to be the only one that I have. And sadly, I don't think I'm going to be reaching for this too often. If you want a matte lip color that won't dry out your lips and will be a lot more long lasting than this, I would just go for the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. Those are very long wearing, very comfortable, they won't dry out your lips, and you don't have to check up on them as often as this. So get the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks or get the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Both of them are very great products. This, on the other hand, I didn't like them. I didn't like them. Wouldn't recommend them. Wouldn't repurchase them. So that's it for this Beauty by Review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you tried the L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss or the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know how these products wore on your lips, so let me know in the comments below. If you're brand new to this channel and you enjoyed this video, please take the moment to subscribe by clicking right over here. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! This is the new CoverGirl Plumpify Lash Pro Mascara. And like I said, the brush is unlike anything that I've ever seen before. Why? <laughs> it's because of the bristles.